What's up? So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. What are you all smirking about? Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation too. Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. Oh! Did you just get up? Good morning! <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with him, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway, so I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly... The... <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless, 
As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other Metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle, or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. That smell. Come 
on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh... So, Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, Maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner! It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hey, 
Is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. to it. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power, worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate.
What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Yes, you must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. Children, what, what have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman. No, yellow and pink's heads, and red's been hacked to bits. This is all Inari's fault. Inari? You know, Inari Sushi, the tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me, of all people? Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Hmm? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Set the bar so high. Ah, uh, okay. I've left Tamara to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go.
Um... Surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! Deep. Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. And eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. Ah! Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is. But if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Beep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. Okay. 
to it. Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case... Uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? Hey, are you all right? The usual, boss. Extra strong. It's your thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> she a new part-timer? Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry Coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. Uh, here's your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right! But it, uh, uh, protects me from the steam! <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. Sojiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. Quite hot. Thank you. 
A weekly magazine reported that Kuramoto was the real culprit in the fund's misappropriation case. Old man Kuramoto will likely be forced to retire from the political world. The police can't do anything because it was 20 years ago. But he I hear his grandson Benzo resigned from the party as well. It could be due to Matsushita's influence, or perhaps it's just the party's way of atoning. Now it's all up to me and my abilities. When's your speech gonna start, Taranasuke? We can't wait! To think that people would be excited to hear me speak. The article mentioned I didn't want the real culprit to be named, even though I knew who it was. Apparently, people admire me for having quietly accepted a false charge for 20 years. I didn't intend for any of this to happen, though. I appreciate that someone like you, who's been watching me so closely, would say such a thing. I've struggled for the past 20 years, but I can put that all behind me after the election. Oh, look at the time. I should get started. Today will be the last day I'll request help from a phantom thief. I don't intend to meddle. Everything I've told you has been based on assumptions, but if you're still willing to listen, then I think you should focus on your work, because the time is now. I can't think of anything else to teach you. You are now an expert on giving speeches. I taught you all I know about the art of public speaking, in return for you supporting a guy like me. And over time, you became someone who shared my beliefs. Thanks to you, I was able to overcome my crisis these last few months. I will strive for the royal road of politics, thinking of you as you walk down your own path. But if you ever find yourself in harm's way on your journey, I will be there to help you. We'll be comrades who reform the world together. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the sun, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. I'm sure you will accomplish everything you set out to do. Thank you for everything. All right, it's time to begin. Yoshida's speech is about to start. I cut my date short so I could watch this, you know? Does anyone out there have something they aspire to do? I met a certain young man through a method that differs from mine. He was trying to reform the world. As you know, that is a very large mountain to cross. Unfortunately, I am unable to travel the same path as him. However, I will not say goodbye, because we will surely meet at the peak. He is desperately doing what he aspires to do. So I encourage you all, please find what it is that you aspire to do. And I will support you, because that is what I aspire to do. Way to go, Taranasuke! I believe in you!
Today's the fourth day already. We getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. Oh, stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. Who do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. A swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Oh, wow, it's perfect! I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go! It's on! What the? This barely covers anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah! Push! Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff! <laughs> there. Good to go! Whoa! Even I'm impressed! I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. How rude! I speak from a purely artistic standpoint. Let it go, okay? We should just stay put. You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. R right. She might be some trouble. I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. something now <sighs> hmm? you sir time for some rehabil you wish to perform fusion not terrible but not impressive select the skills you'd like to inherit will receive some new power. My, my.
gather them. Finished for now. Done already? What? Do you need something? Now, it would seem... <laughs> Ready? What? No slacking off. Justine, these are the paths you have walked. This person will withdraw this persona, then accept this persona. Done already? What? It is time, inmate. Honey. Ugh, I'm drenched. Well then. Oh? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So what should we... Let's see... Wanna eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pod that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. I... I can do that! Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelette with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. No, but this is for Futaba's sake. Ugh, fine. You owe me, got it? I want the same. Extra large. Ah, uh, I ate loads! Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed! Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You'd better not be hitting on me. How rude. Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? So does this mean our training's going good? Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after-meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa! You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. Looks like we... Okay. Where have you been? Been searching all along. Been facing quite a long without the crew. That's. Okay. Wow. 
Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, they came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai-san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. Uh, what'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're... Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. <laughs> Thank you. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. Fireworks. Can we? I bought some. Mm hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! 
super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <coughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! no! <laughs> Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Still, going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. Baba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip! Don't underestimate me! Uh, right. Uh, sorry. I guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. Perfect. 
about that. <sighs> Stay still for a second. You'll be just fine. <laughs> <sighs> people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But... Lady On... Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. Switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Banana! Banana! Ah, the sand's way out! It's dangerous if you run around like that. Damn it. I don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal you know what. On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well, let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind!
<sighs> I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Don't say that like I'm the only one who... Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh, no. What are you guys doing here? Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go, so Was it something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. <sighs> no, no more makeovers. <sighs> By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so, I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since... The first time on entered my gaze. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so... We were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. 
Hey, Futaba, we're going home. Stop standing around and help us. You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But now that's why I'd sleep again. I'd be a repeat of that. Uh, I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, oh, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. 
I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at the- That's why you're good at hacking! What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> But I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case... Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face! Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? I'll curse you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! And Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate! Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes, the incident with Medjed seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash. Whether they're connected to us or not. Hey. find the worst possible things to say. Hmm. I'll just add this. 